warning tonight about some high-tech burglars. They're using electronic devices to disable the Wi-Fi used by cameras and security systems in many homes. That's what happened to a homeowner in Florham Park, New Jersey. Here's Iowa News News reporter N.J. Burkett. The thieves spend days staking out the neighborhood, watching who comes and goes and when. Then they'll flip on a bizarre-looking device like this and knock out a home's wireless alarm system before breaking in to steal money and jewelry. It happened just this week to a resident in Florham Park, New Jersey. He was in his house, and the, uh, the suspect came up and forced his way into the resident's home. Lieutenant Brian Ford says the thief was scared off and the resident was not injured. He tried to call 911, but his cell phone had no signal. The device, known as a Wi-Fi jammer, sends a powerful pulse that temporarily disables wireless devices. You can't even use your cell phone. Yeah, it also disrupts cell signals. Um, anything that uses wireless communications, it, it'll, it'll disrupt, yeah. 100%. It's a growing crime nationwide. Earlier this year, the LAPD released surveillance pictures and warned residents in Southern California. So Former NYPD, NYPD Chief of Detectives, it. Robert uh, Boyce. It started in Southern California and it's made, made its way over here. Generally speaking, they're all in, in, uh, in affluent neighborhoods because that's where the money is, they believe. Jewelry and things like that they can quickly grab. Ronnie Parlin has lived in Florham Park for more than 40 years. If they are disabling our equipment in the house, our Wi-Fi that enables us to have, be able to call 911, where does it leave us? It's really, it's really scary. Ronnie tells me she feels a little safer because she still has a landline phone that's invulnerable to these Wi-Fi jammers. Police say it's a good idea to have one of those anyway, but the best advice is to stay alert, be vigilant in your own neighborhood. I spoke with a woman who says her SUV was stolen right out in her driveway. And when she went back to look at her ring camera footage, hours were missing at the same time her car was stolen. And I spoke with a local technology expert who says that was not a coincidence. You see them on almost every block a ring, or some form of doorbell camera system. The small home security device gaining significant popularity over the last decade. But as their use has grown, so has the ability of hackers. If you're relying on wireless to be a security thing, you're looking at wrong. Chris Burns, the owner of Techie Gurus, says security cameras that use Wi-Fi to record are more about convenience than actual security because Wi-Fi can be easily disrupted, preventing the camera from capturing who is around your home. And criminals are catching on. A woman in Detroit found out the hard way when she says hours of her ring camera footage were missing during the same time her blue trailblazer was stolen from her driveway on August 14th. Similar stories popping up across the country. And Byrne says he knows why. Wireless signals are very easy to jam or block. By using a deauthor or Wi-Fi jamming device. Like this one right here. A deauthor, which can be the size of an Apple Watch, will overwhelm a Wi-Fi system, forcing the doorbell camera to stop recording if you stand close enough. The accessory only costing about 10 to 50 bucks and can be found on Amazon. But a jammer is going to cost you maybe 150 to $1,000, depending on what you're trying to do. And it's highly illegal, so it's more difficult to find. But a powerful jammer can prevent an entire street from recording on its doorbell security camera with the switch of a button. We reached out to Ring about the issue, and a spokesperson sent a statement saying, quote, like any Wi-Fi enabled device, Wi-Fi signal interference may affect Ring device performance. If customers are experiencing issues with connectivity, we encourage them to reach out to Ring customer support. So how can customers protect themselves? For true security, it should always be hardwired. It should always be plugged into like Ethernet or something like that. A spokesperson with Ring went on to say, yes, they are aware of this problem, but it's rare. But the technology expert I spoke with says, as time goes on, this technology will get cheaper, so jammers be could become more popular. So it's important that everyone become more aware. Warning from police tonight as home burglaries continue to rise across Southern California. Thieves are using a tech tool to get inside your home that allows them to disable your alarm and your security cameras. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher, live for us now in Glendale, with new details about Wi-Fi jammers. Michelle.
Well, Mark, the message from police tonight is to be vigilant. They say this is a tactic they have seen from thieves, not only here in Glendale, but all across Southern California. Glendale is a very safe city. But tonight, a warning from Glendale police about Wi-Fi jamming devices, technology that could make your home a target for thieves. It's a device that blocks the signal or scrambles your Wi-Fi signal. So if you have a ring camera, a Nest camera, any kind of alarm system that is Wi-Fi based or a camera that's Wi-Fi based, blocks the signal and knocks it out. A disproportionate surge in residential burglaries across Glendale and Southern California in the fall, leading investigators to the crime trend. As our detectives started going into these cases, they started realizing that this is what was happening. In some cases, because of the, the way the device works, it made it look like if you went and rewound your tape and looked, it was just a, it wasn't like a blank screen. It looked like it was seamless. It just didn't exist in there. So there was no evidence. Police say you can beef up security around your home by hardwiring alarm systems and cameras, using backup batteries in those devices, installing sturdy locks on security gates, enhancing exterior lighting, securing windows and balconies, and having a trusted neighbor or house sitter look after your home when away. The department's residential burglary task force too helpful in lowering the number of break-ins. Patrol officers, our motor officers, our special enforcement detail, our detectives, we had them undercover in the area, and we saturated the area.